Good morning, my boy squad. I am freaking out because we're about to try something really darn cool. I don't think I've ever done this before. I don't think I can do this for my first time. I'll need some help. Check it out. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Welcome to the Mabuhay Squad. Enjoy. Kayaking in the ocean? <gasps> Look at that. RJ, are you gonna kayak? Yeah. <laughs> this should be cool. Mabuhay Squad, helping us on this journey, this kayaking journey is... Alilai. Alilai. Kelvin. Kelvin. And hey, Mac. Mac. And CJ. Yes. This is gonna be cool. Apparently we're doing a number of cool things this morning. Okay, okay squad, yeah. we're going in into that. And thankfully, I have a paddler, <laughs> an experienced one. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it, man. Butt first. Yeah. <laughs> Bottom first. Whoa. Yes. Wow, this is the high tech one. You got a water bottle? Perfect. My boy squad, I'm, I'm not gonna paddle because he's better. Whoa. <laughs> My boy squad, meet Mac. Yes. Wow. This is awesome. Look at how placid this scenery is. Wow, this is amazing. Sweet. So Mac, did you say this was a shark nursery? Yeah. Wow. My boy squad, there are baby sharks here. Um, harmless, but baby sharks nonetheless, like real sharks. So, black tip sharks are life bearers. Wow, they don't lay those big purses, those eggs. Interesting. It's a permanent head start for these baby sharks. So, imagine your mother dropping you at head start when you were little. It's a place for them to come and train. Oh. And to be a big bad shark. Wow. So this is, once they graduate, and along with their appetite, they will move to the bigger reef. For now, Inner Lagoon, Calm Bays, is where they'll train, get the necessary skill set. Interesting. This is so cool. And paddling is the best way to see them. Yeah, it, it seems like a less intrusive way exactly. of coming into their territory. Yeah. Oh, look, blue sea star to your right. Oh, wow, a blue starfish. <gasps> Blue sea star. Is that a... Wow, I, I'm seeing weird creatures in here. Like, I thought I saw a cucumber. Sea cucumber. Awesome, there are sea cucumbers in here. Wowee. Wow, we're going under here. <gasps> awesome. My voice squad, we're going under. Gorgeous, look at the top. <gasps> wow. Are those limestone deep? Oh wait, those are nests from, are those bees? Oh. Or wasps? Oh, cool. And yes, you're going straight through a limestone rock. Wow. Limestone, and then you have like wasp nests. Baby shark at your 12 o'clock. What? Oh, that's a cute one. Look how cute that Where? one is. Oh, wow. Oh boy, squad, there's a shark. A there's baby a pair shark. of them. You see them? Right there. Where? Uh, just look at your 12 Is that what's making? Oh, oh there! Yeah. There, my boy squad. Do you see it? <gasps> Let's see if I can zoom in. Guys, we're looking at a baby shark. Wow, they're beautiful. They're awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. They're so in the open. They have no um, natural predators here, like cranes or something. They have each other. Oh, they eat each other. Ah, okay. See, there's another one. Yes, I see. The shark's life is very difficult, huh? Way down there. See? That's a... Wow, look at them. Look at them. They're just totally swimming everywhere. My boy squad, look at all of these, like, sea cucumbers. They're everywhere. They kind of look like... 
see they're just everywhere here. Yeah, and there are all sorts of marine fish under there. It's really, really great. Ooh, water's getting slightly deeper here. Awesome, what amazing habitat. Oh, this is great. Wow. We got a school of golden spotted rabbit fish. Golden spotted rabbit fish? Oh, cool. Delicacy here in Palau, yeah? Yes, I had some yesterday had in Peleliu. Oh, Deep fried, yeah. It's a rabbit fish season. So. Okay, rabbit fish season. Awesome. Look at all this coral. And you see little fish. To your right, right over there. Where? Oh, another baby shark down there. Sweet. Beautiful fish hanging out by the coral. Blue green chromis. Awesome. Blue green chromis is the name. Yeah. <laughs> There's RJ. <gasps> Did you see the shark? It's cool, right? Awesome. Mac. Oi. With all of this, like, pretty much at your whim, you can, you know, see these fish and you've seen them in their natural habitat. How does seeing fish in aquarium make you feel? Uh, it's not the same as being out here, yeah? So I'd rather not go to an aquarium. Yeah, I can imagine because, you know, like, I think about those museums and zoos and aquariums and, like, I thought that was fascinating, but after seeing this, like the fish in their natu natural habitat and just the context of their life, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, oh, there's a shark, random shark, see? <laughs> Blackfin, and I've seen that species in aquariums. In Chicago, they have one. And it's just not the same now. Like I can never look at aquari an aquarium the same anymore. <laughs> after visiting Palau. Really? So Mabuhay Squad. Palau happens to be one of the first shark sanctuaries in the world. Or is it the first? Yeah, one of the first, yeah. The first in 2009. Wow. It was declared the first shark sanctuary in the whole world. Meaning hunting for sharks is banned here. You can't kill them, you can't hunt them for their fins, nothing like that. So sharks can take refuge here in Palau. In Palau. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Boy squad, we got birds up ahead. See them? Oh wow. Wow, they noisy. Awesome. Those are turns, my boy squad. Turns. T-E-R-N-S. All of these cool coves and like hangout spots, little kind of caves and grottos and got crabs down there crawling around. It's just such a neat living space. You got sea, what is that? Sea star, wow. Just amazing, look at that. Wow, awesome, awesome, awesome. Really cool, guys. Dugongs. Oh my, oh boy squad. Dugongs, you know what those are? I hope we see them. <gasps> Oh man, I can't believe that there are two gongs in this water. So basically, Mabuhay Squad, they come up for air to breathe every seven minutes. So now we just gotta look for like a hump and then pff, like a, a explosion of air. <gasps> wow. RJ, what is that? It's the national flower of Palau. Oh, the national flower of Palau. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, smells good. It smells like a lily. It is a lily. What is this called, li this lily? <laughs> I look like Michelle de la Cruz Bustos now. Guys, whoops. Appar guys, apparently if you keep it on your right side, it means... You're taken. You're taken. And if you put it on your left side, it means... Single and available. Awesome. Wow. You could have it on both sides too. <laughs> well, <laughs> let me put it on. <laughs> In between. <laughs> <laughs> boy squad, we're gonna go do some snorkeling now. Sadly, I didn't bring enough Speedos because we'll be traveling to a few beaches over the next few days. 
um, and I only brought a few <laughs> for this trip. But I am wearing Speedo shorts. <laughs> At least they're not boarding shorts. Wow, my boy squad. Check this out. Okay, so see these ice cream like shaped scoops within this rock? It is created by this creature. And Max says that it's a very, almost, it's a prehistoric creature, right? It's been around for millions of years. And they eat the algae in the rock. Their tongue scrapes this algae and little by little, it removes some of the limestone. But look at it, doesn't it look like a dinosaur? It's a type of mollusk. So like, you know, that group of animals where snails and worms belong to. But look at that, wow. And are those its droppings? Those like light colored pellets? Yeah, the stuff that looks like squeezed toothpaste. Interesting. Uh, there's another one. They're all over here. What a cool thing. Actually, this whole rock surface is full of them. Look, see there? There. Really, really neat. Awesome, awesome. I didn't know that. And that creature is called? A giant kite. A giant chitin. Have you guys heard of that? I've never heard of that in my life. That is amazing. There are so many animals, like marine animals and coastal animals that are, they, they blow my mind. They aren't talked about enough in science class. So these little dips under here, you see that? Um, in all of these islands, you'll see these like little shelves, this kind of tapering roof, I guess, all around the islands. And I've seen them in the Philippines too. They're created not by only the waves, because I assumed it was just waves crashing and so it like eroded this. But no, bioerosion is the process where like these creatures, like the chitons, like those things, are wearing out the limestone and it creates this whole thing. So it's not just like physical weathering that's causing this um, or crashing waves. It's like the animals that are eating away at this stuff. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now you know, when you guys go to Coron or like Palawan, the technical term for these tapering roofs here are undercut. This is called the undercut. My boys, go check out these jellyfish. Holy, wow. Mestigis Papua. What is it? Mestigis Papua. Mestigis Papua. Oh, I've never seen jellyfish in the wild like this. Wow, they're everywhere. They're, they're gorgeous. Holy, look at them. They have like blue, like, like tentacles. Look at them. Are, wow, they're everywhere here, guys. Okay, so can they sting? Uh, they don't have a sting that will hurt you. Or they do have a minimal sting. Wow, look at them, guys. They're amazing. Sadly, my, my GoPro died. What a terrible time for my GoPro to die. Gorgeous, look at that. Look at how gorgeous that is. Oh. <gasps> Beautiful! What amazing creatures! Right now, they're up at the surface to feed in the sun. They worship the sun. They worship the Ooh. sun. That color that you're seeing, the zooxanthellae algae, is producing its food right as we speak. Oh, I see. Okay, so guys, they have like this symbiotic relationship with a, an algae that needs the sun, and then as the the algae photosynthesize, they give nutrients to the jellyfish. Is that how that works? Wow! Amazing! Unbelievable! Look at them! They're so big! <gasps> now, I bet these guys are hard to keep in aquariums. Oh yeah, very difficult, yes, because you'd have to have a, a way to simulate the sun. Interesting! Wow! Unbelievable, my boy squad. Look at them. They're just everywhere here. Just swimming around. Look at that. Oh, crazy. So, my boy squad, I was really bummed that my GoPro had died. And I couldn't catch this amazing footage with these jellyfish. But then the universe reminded me. My cell phone was waterproof. My boy squad. Let's swim with these jellyfish.
Wasn't that cool? <laughs> that was crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Mac, that was absolutely stunning. It is pretty crazy, these jellies. An understatement. Yes, <laughs> that would be. Wow, my boy squad. Wasn't that amazing? I never in my wildest dreams ever thought that I would touch a jellyfish. And you know what? It really feels like jelly. <laughs> like, it's like it's it's like soft and slimy but jelly and squishy like I don't know how would you describe that feeling it's smooth and slimy in a way about 80% water this creature 80% water guys it, are, they're so gorgeous and like they don't have a brain but they kind of like still navigate around and like are able to you know acquire everything it needs without a brain a boy squad the jellyfish of Palau just just amazing all right guys thank you so much for taking myself and the Mubai squad to that amazing ocean adventure that was crazy so where can um, people find you guys if they want a tour um, you know the ocean oh uh, log on to paddling Palau you can reach us there all right and I'll leave a link in the description box Mubai squad thanks guys Sulang. Bye. Yes. Hello. Hello. Okay. This is Bilong. Let me. I'm gonna park. 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 Let me park the park, yeah. Okay. Oh my God, my boy squad. We're gonna meet the queen. The queen of Palau. Also shopping in your. She shops at your grocery. None of that. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. We're meeting royalty. I'm not dressed. Oh my God, my boy squad. We're gonna meet the queen. Queen of Palau. <laughs>